Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Sir Keir Starmer will launch a fresh assault on the planning system today, meaning communities can debate only how, not if homes are built. Sources said today's King's speech will include a new planning bill which will curb residents' ability to block controversial developments. Areas of the Green Belt deemed low quality will be redesignated as Grey Belt and released for development. Local authorities will also be required to identify land for building. The Prime Minister has pledged to take the brakes off Britain with a string of growth-boosting measures to be unveiled in today's speech. Decisions on key infrastructure projects, such as the miles of pylons to link new wind farms to the grid, will increasingly be handed to ministers. Other measures will include legislation to begin the renationalization of the railways and controversial class war plans to impose VAT on private schools. It is expected to be one of the biggest legislative packages for years, containing at least 35 bills and draft bills. Speaking ahead of today's state opening of parliament, the PM said, now is the time to take the brakes off Britain. For too long people have been held back, their paths determined by where they came from, not their talents and hard work. I am determined to create wealth for people up and down the country. It is the only way our country can progress, and my government is focused on supporting that aspiration. Today's new laws will take back control and lay the foundations of real change that this country is crying out for, creating wealth in every community and making people better off, supporting their ambitions, hopes and dreams. Other measures expected in today's speech include Government sources said today's package would reflect Labor's manifesto pledge to kickstart the economy and generate the highest growth in the G7 by the end of this parliament. But the scale of the challenge was underlined yesterday when the International Monetary Fund left its UK growth forecast unchanged, predicting growth of 1.5% next year. Economist Dennis Shin of Scope Ratings said the government would need a growth miracle to avoid having to either raise taxes or cut spending. Rishi Sunak last night acknowledged that Labour had tapped into the public's desire for change, but added, they must now deliver change and we on this side of the house will hold them accountable for delivering on the commitments they made to the British people. The Tory leader added that his party would hold the government to its promise not to raise taxes, adding, they can't now claim that things are worse than they thought and renege on these pledges. Ministers were tight-lipped about the precise detail of the planning changes ahead of today's speech, which will be delivered by King Charles this morning. But a government source said the bill would speed up and streamline the planning process, adding that planning reform was central to the government's plans to strengthen economic growth. The source added, by enabling democratic engagement with how, not if, homes and infrastructure are built, the major breaks on the planning system will be addressed to support sustainable growth. Chancellor Rachel Reeves announced last week that the government will bring back mandatory house-building targets. Councils will also be ordered to designate land for development in their local plans. Labor's manifesto states that communities should still be allowed to shape house building in their area, but suggests they will lose their veto over development. It says that where necessary ministers will not be afraid to make full use of intervention powers to build the houses we need. The party has committed to a brownfield first approach to house building, but said brownfield sites alone will not be enough to meet our housing need. Plans for the strategic release of Green Belt land and the redesignation of areas as Grey Belt have alarmed campaigners. Lizzie Bundred Woodward, of the countryside charity CPRE, said the group supported the ambition to build more homes. But she added, we urgently need some clarity on Labour's definition of Grey Belt. The Green Belt is the countryside next door for 30 million people in towns and cities across the UK. It is crucial for food security, nature recovery, climate change mitigation alongside mental and fissy.